Hello everybody and welcome to Nathan on Shuffle and to my latest new album Spotlight. I'm doing a bit of an extra one this week because there's just so many album releases that have come out. Usually I try to do about one per week and then do a top five show or something along those lines, but I just feel like there's so much great music that I have to cover it. And so I'm doubling up on album reviews this week, but I've got a good one for you guys today. This is Jason Beeler and the Baron Von Bielski Orchestra and the album Postcards from the Asylum. A really quirky, eclectic album. Uh, you could just tell from the name of it. Uh, this is going to be something of interest if you like the quirkier sides of, of hard rock and, and prog and want something a little bit different uh, into your life. Just to kind of give you an impression of the different nature of what we've got here, this is their description of their music. Uh, described as Nordic ambient post-classical satanic love songs for nomadic peoples living above the Arctic Circle, catering specifically for those who staff musk oxen rescues and wear hemp-based sweaters. <laughs> just a little tongue-in-cheek clever way to describe the band uh, but really what you get on board here I think more accurately is a bit of a mixture between hard rock styles that you might be familiar with from like the 80s and 90s but mixed with some prog quirkiness that isn't unlike something like Zappa or Devin Townsend or something of that nature so it's a really interesting eclectic stew. Jason Beeler was a member of the band Saigon Kick in the early 90s, a hard rock band that was fairly popular at the time. Uh, this is actually a follow-up to Jason Beeler's 2021 album, uh, Songs from the Apocalypse. So this is the second as this iteration of Jason Beeler and the Baron Von Bielski Orchestra. To me, this, this album really brought back to mind my early love of alternative hard rock music back when I was a teenager, back in the early 2000s. But there's enough of a prog twist here to keep me entertained and interested with my current day tastes that lean more towards that progier direction. There's a lot of uh, hard rock, pounding drums, and heavy riffs here, but also a dark twisted sense of humor and some really inventive stuff. I, I really think some of the touchstone bands that you can look at are like some hard rock bands like Guns N' Roses, Motley Crue, Aerosmith, Van Halen, but blending in these newer prog flavors uh, and metal sounds like bands like Ghost is one that I thought of, Devin Townsend, even a dash of like more modern sounding Spock's beard maybe in this mix in a, in a few places. So it's really eclectic and interesting, but it definitely has that harder rock uh, bedstone that it, it lies upon. Another thing that's really interesting to me about this album is the vocal stylings. Uh, there's these really interesting like swirling harmonies and really expressive quirky ticks in the vocals. Almost Queen inspired in moments where they do these kind of big expressive vocal sections. Uh, really a lot of character and the, the vocalist uh, I think it's Jason on the vocals. It's like a blend of Axl Rose and Devin Townsend is what I was thinking. It's just a really interesting voice with a lot of character that really is such an important aspect to the album for me because it really leads you along the way and gives you something to really grab hold of and to, to really bring a lot of character to the music. So uh, going through some of the tracks, it's a really long list of tracks. There's a lot here. There's 15 tracks and they're all really interesting and you know worth exploring in their own right. Bombay starts the album with a brief old timey intro before blasted with a heavy alternative rock sound with driving riffs and pounding drums. But the chorus brings in that quirky sound with those swirling vocals that I'm talking about. Great blend of modern alternative alternative with just a smidge of proggy quirk. A great opening statement for what you can expect from this album. Uh, I really like Heathens, which is track three. Heavy bouncy riff, super catchy, brilliantly blends heavy aggression with an almost pop metal uh, entertaining feel like something like Ghost might do. Some really catchy vocal harmonies, really cool stuff. Mexico really adds a different flavor after some very aggressive tracks. A really cool respite with a more acoustic lead uh, type ballad with some fantastic harmonies. I love there's like this really cool jazz bluesy tinged guitar solo towards the end of the track that I really appreciate. Birds of Prey is an anthemic bluesy number with some keys from Ryo Okamoto. Uh, really catchy vocals and a definite like Guns N' Roses type power ballad vibe to this. Flying Monkeys is probably the most proggy track on the album. Uh, really feels almost like a Zappa-esque 
type track with these staccato stabs and crazy time signatures. I believe Marco Miniman is guesting on the drums here, so this is definitely a highlight track for any of you prog fans like me. I mean, if you're watching this channel, you're probably a prog fan, so this is really a highlight track to check out that really has those uh, prog elements in full display. Uh, Beneath the Waves is a real treat. Some great harmony vocals, almost queen-like, before we get into a really cool rocking song. Uh, I really like Bear Sedatives, a theatrical, almost pop metal affair with a lazy, bouncy feel that really rocks and, and has a really cool sound to it. Uh, Deep Blue is one of the progier tracks on the album that almost brings in this mixture of like Spock's beard with a Devin Townsend style, some vocal harmonies leading to a symphonic prog style chorus. Really cool, fun stuff that really showcases a progier tendency to add some variation to some of the heavier metal, hard rock aspects of the album. And then it ends with a really great track also called Human Head, which leans into an acoustic picking sound, some signature vocal harmonies, and those odd quirky lyrics that this album is full of. There's a lot of quirky humor in the lyrics that really brings to mind that Zappa or even Tevin Townsend at his quirkiest. Some really dark subject matters but done in a really clever, interesting way. There's some great picking guitar soloing here on this track that adds some great texture to this piece. Just a really great track and a really great album. Just one I recommend if you are interested in the harder edge side of the rock spectrum but also like some quirkier uh, comedic stylings that are a bit darker in their aspects. Just a lot of fun to be had here. Just every track just brings a smile to my face and is just such a fun listen through. And I recommend it to you guys if you're into that style. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you've appreciated this review and I hope to catch you guys in a future video. So thank you everybody. Bye.